Hello my vMix users and enthusiasts. This will be my vMix After Effects animation tutorial using the GT Title Designer in vMix. Now if you don't know what the GT Title Designer is, it is simply a very small mini software used right into vMix that is used for animations. Now these animations can play and run live in your production. You use this to spice up the quality of your production and I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Without further ado, let's get right to the tutorial. Once you launch After Effects on your computer, I want us to try to animate a logo. Now I'll keep this After Effects section pretty basic. Take a look at some logo that I have. This is a CapCut logo, Studio logo, and this is DaVinci Resolve logo. So I'm going to use this and also this for this project. Now the first thing I want to recommend is you do not need to create a very large composition. So if you right click on this section, which is your project panel in After Effects, you can actually create a composition. Now a composition is like your timeline. This is actually what you need to make first to have this video. So I just dragged this um, pictures down here and it automatically created a composition for me. But that is not what I want because right now I cannot determine the resolution of that composition and I'm very sure it's going to be too high. The trick is to keep your file size small in order not to have any lag when using this in vmix right click and click on new composition now this i'll call this my animated logo the width and the height i want to leave it a square shape 200 by 200 pixels because your logos are very small probably don't need anything more than that then the duration if you look in here you see your duration right i want to keep the duration to be pretty short now because it's going to be a loop i don't think five seconds is too small for this duration now a little bit of how the duration works in after effect this is your frames so these first two digits here actually represent your frames and then the next two digits represent your seconds if i want five seconds it's going to be zero five zero zero this represent minutes and this represents hours okay so we have minutes and hour which is the last one okay so i'm going to set this to zero five for a five second sequence very short exactly what i want so now you see a square here perfect for what i want to do now i'm going to pull up this uh, my studio logo in here so i'm going to scale this in here you can see i did that by going to my properties section to the right so that's actually how you scale things you can actually just come here this way you scale things i'm going to set this to five percent because again the resolution was just too high i'm going to use a very basic reveal animation now if i had typed this text myself maybe i should go ahead and type this text myself so that i can actually do more animations with it so we have glass studios let's have creative so there you go this is what we have glass creative studios maybe not the best font maybe not the best design but i just wanted to be able to design this from scratch and show you how you can animate this so let's quickly animate this. This is not an After Effects animation tutorial, but I'll show you what I do. So I click on animate and then I animate the position. When you click on the position, you click on add and then add opacity. Now you set the opacity to zero, open your range selector option and then look at what happens next. So once you move the offset, you begin to spell blast. Adjust the Y position and make it fall from up so that it begins to spell blast from here so starting from this opacity is actually set to zero should be zero so i can keyframe the offset from here and then have it fall in so i want the offset to start from zero half a second in i'll set the offset to 100. very interesting way to animate test in after effects using the animator option so that's blast in there of course you can select this and click on your graph editor to easy ease these keyframes so with this keyframe selected I can just create a little bit of a handle there click on the bottom one create another handle 
and then you have a very much smoother animation that looks like this you can copy the animation and have it in the rest of them so have it for creative okay no i think i want creative to come in another way let's have it in studios first okay so we have blast studios but then the creative i think i want the creative to write itself now i want to apply a very unique feature called trim pass this will actually help me to write this text in after effect let's say i want to bring a rectangle shape into this animation that is just a box until we can begin to animate the box i want this box to actually turn and swell and so if i come over here add trim parts now there's so much you can do with trim parts let's see now i can reduce the end and then begin to move the offset and allow this shape to rotate you can actually use this is to bring your viewers attention to that particular section let's say from half a second keyframe the offset we just want it to keep rotating throughout the video and begin to rotate now only the creative has not been animated so let's animate the creative I'm going to right click on it and say create and shape from text so now it creates shapes from text with a fill and a stroke so i'll get rid of the fill and keep the stroke so let's see what we have now we can actually trim part the entire text like this from end Ooh. okay okay so i don't need i don't think i want the fill anymore <laughs> okay so without the fill let's try the trim part again so it's it's writing it one letter at a time which is not a big deal yeah you know what i'm simultaneously okay individually let's see that okay much better i think i prefer this so i want it to write individually like that okay so i'm only gonna offset i'm only going to so blast creative academy keyframe creative to write alongside the studios okay so this is gonna be like this so this is what we're going to have this it happened very fast so let's make it a bit slower let's keyframe it f9 easy is creative all right now this is not an after effects tutorial but this is how you would do this if this was an after effects tutorial so i think my starting keyframe is not in zero so i set that to zero everything should start at zero okay so we have this what do you think i think i, I think it's good so the problem is the loop now it's, it's always going to loop like this but i think it's in no i think it works i mean i think it's okay so let's export this so let's export this project without this background okay so this is what we are exporting um let's add some shadows come over to effects let's have some drop shadows here shadows so we just add some drop shadows to the blast and soften it a bit let's see how it looks on the background soften it a bit maybe reposition it a little bit reduce the angle reduce the angle and copy that effect you can just copy that effect which is the sh drop shadow effect and have it pasted on the studios right we don't want to add shadows with creative that's fine so now we can export this as a logo animation now uh, again you can do this for anything this is where it gets interesting the exporting stage now you can go to file and go to export add to render queue now right here in your render queue you need to pay attention we are trying to export or render a transparent video typically that is not possible right wrong you can actually export transparent videos the only problem you have the only challenge that you have now once you have your animated logo created you can go as crazy as you want apply all the after effects tricks you know to be able to get this looking good the way you like it i just kept mine simple for the sake of this tutorial now how do you export this professionally in order to get the transparent background because that's what is important otherwise it will not be a real animated logo we need that transparency now if this was photoshop you would export as png png is your transparent image but how do you get transparent videos well transparent videos do not exist right wrong transparent videos do exist and i'll show you how to do it the first way to get a transparent video is come over to your output and set it to quick time 
it took me a while to learn this but i want to show you for free so quickly now your channels you want to set the channels to rgb plus alpha that is where the transparency is once you export like that you have a transparent video which you can actually deliver to your clients and they can use it as layers over other videos especially if they want to continue to use your after effects animation for as a template for other videos that they are going to be making this is how i recommend you export your videos as quicktime with rgb plus alpha now i'm going to export one copy like this and save it in a particular folder just for the sake of this tutorial but this is not what we're going to be using and i'll tell you why in a minute so this will be my vmix logo animation and this is the transparent logo okay now it's going to export as .mov which is exactly what we want i've chosen the destination and it might take a little while to export let's see that was pretty fast the reason why it was fast is i left the sequence very short five seconds because it's going to play on loop so you don't need a very long sequence and secondly i use a very small resolution 200 pixels so let's check out the video take a look at that that is a transparent video uh, let me prove to you that this is a transparent video so let's go over to vmix right let's get some video editing resources so i'm just dragging a bunch of videos right here into vmix so here is vmix this is the video we just exported our transparent logo i'll just drag it as an input in vmix and if we are lucky voila you have your transparent logo in vmix now you can set it to loop and you can position it perfectly the way you want so you come and set the position by the way i've never done it like this before i just tried it and it worked um the times i've used transparent video was to use as a template in premiere pro or any other video editing software i've never actually tried a transparent video directly into vmix and now i'm seeing that it's working so that's very powerful you can have your transparent logo just like this in vmix so after five seconds it loops again and that's pretty interesting but that's not what i wanted to show you in this video because this file size can get pretty large let's check it let's check it the file size it's just 9 mb it's not even that large there you have it you have your transparent logo in vmix that's the first way to do it let's look at the second way to do it now back to your animated logo sequence go to file add to render queue again now we'll change our output mode to something that is really used but very important it's called png sequence take a look at that png sequence so when you select png sequence also come over to channels this is where the trick is and set rgb plus alpha alpha is your transparent channel rgb is the channel that actually has all the color information so if you don't set it to rgb plus alpha you cannot export this as a transparent video so now i set ok and i choose a destination for this now notice how the information has changed so it's going to now you export this you render this and it's going to render pretty fast inside animated logo look at what we have 120 pictures that is the whole animation now let's go over to vmix and this is where gt title designer comes in so i says gt you go down here to your bottom right click on overlays and then click on gt title designer in another video i'll teach you how to use the gt title designer more professionally you can create shapes you can set the color of the shape you can put text in the shape pretty much interesting stuff and this could be your title so this could be the speaker you can set the color of that to white you can set the size make it bigger give it a different font size make it a lot bigger maybe a little bit smaller maybe a little bit smaller again all right so that's your rectangle so these are your layers on the right side okay which you can continue to adjust and we can decide to position this too down here and you have yourself a little title now what makes this interesting is this animation so it's very basic application where you can actually come here and play with the animations so we can make this this rectangle to reveal in a bunch of ways so if i play it it's gonna reveal like that can make it reveal from the bottom okay you can even easy ease it so from style you can change to cubic easing so it's gonna ease in like this 
pretty much the way you do stuff in After Effects. That's what we view. You can have it fly in, right, from the bottom. And this is what you get. It flies in from the bottom. You can have the text. You can do the same thing for the text. You can have the text to reveal, maybe from the left. You can set it to ease in and hit play. So you have the text. Now, if you want to delay the text playing, you can add a delay to 0.5 so that the, the back will come before the text goes in. So the background comes, then the text goes in. Simple animation. You can transition the outputs. So the outputs, we can set the rectangle to go back down. So let's say we have it fly down, cubic, cubic is in. Then have the text to maybe go down as well. So have it fly down, cubic is in. So if I, trans if I play the in and out, this is how it goes. Can you see that? Within a matter of minutes, I've animated a lower third. Don't you just love that? This is already an animation. But let's look at our logo. So you can save this animation and just call this title animation. Eight kilobytes of file for that whole animation. And the file format is .gtzip. Drag this .gtzip file onto your vMix and you can hit the layers. And there you have it. Very beautiful looking effect that you can transition in and out exactly the way you created it, right? And you're wondering, what if I want to change the title? It's very easy. You want to change the text, you just right click on this and click on title editor. Pastor Lawrence. You can set this to Pastor Lawrence. And there you have it. Transition in and out. A brand new title that we just created. But let's look at what we actually came here for. It's the logo animation, right? So let's get the logo animation in. We click on this image icon here very simply. Now we'll come to the image sequence and we click on the very first image sequence. Nothing happens. Even if you hit play, nothing happens because it just came in as an image. You can position it where you want to be, but it's not going to work. The only way to work is you come up here and you go over to animation and choose continuous and then you select image sequence so watch what happens once we select image sequence voila the loop has started and you can adjust the speed of this to make it even go slower so now you can save this yeah so this is the one we created using the image sequence i hope you found this video helpful that is my animation in vmix tutorial how to import After Effects animation into vMix. I showed you two ways. The first way is to export it as a transparent video. The only challenge is that some of those videos can get really large if you use a very high resolution to export and also a very high frame rate. But the safe way is actually to export as an image sequence, a PNG image sequence, which you can then import into your GT title designer and use them in vmix anytime anywhere i hope you found this helpful i enjoyed teaching it do well to subscribe to this youtube channel for more videos like this creative videos video post production even live streaming tutorials my name is ibuno south isaac i'm the creative art director here at blast creative studios and until next time i'll see you again